Welcome everyone. In this session, we are going to talk about KVM network configuration. With the installation of libpod D and its service creates a virtual bridge which is called uh, BIRBR0 by default with the network segment 192.168.122.0. Slash 24. In enterprise uh, or even in your lab setup, you don't want to use that de default network range, right? You want to customize it as per your requirement. How you can do that? That's very easy to do. We have to modify a couple of configuration files and uh, update a few settings that will allow us to use our required or desired network range so you can see on screen now i got uh, ethernet one which got uh, internet connectivity as i mentioned in last video but i'm going to customize it i'm going to use ethernet one as my base interface for kvm network communications what i'm doing here the virtual bridge zero which is vir br zero that will be using ethernet one as its physical network adapter so all the traffic will be routed through it one via virtual bridge zero so what i'm doing in ethernet one configuration file i'm getting rid of uh, the already allocated ip addresses i'm just saying here it is a bridge adapter for BIR BR0 and I'm creating a new file called ifcfg BIR BR0 where I'm saying it is bridge devices VIR BR0 which is basically Ethernet one you can see here then I am allocating IP addresses for all further communication for KVM which I'm using 192.168.1.10. So this interface will be on host, which will be communicating to guest VMs through virtual network. After that, I am enabling IPv4 forwarding to enable uh, inter VM communications for all the IPv4 packet forwarding. Then I'm configuring the firewall to add pass through for IPv4 traffic through bridge interfaces. And uh, then I'm reloading the firewall rule. Let me quickly repeat what I'm going to do. If config file for Ethernet 1, that is going to say that is used for VIR BR0 here. Create a new file with the name virtual bridge 0, this one allocate your IP address then enable IPv4 forwarding with system CTL just create a configuration file enable the IPv4 forwarding and check it then configure the firewall rule so let's begin the lab guys let me show you the settings of Ethernet 1 at present you can see it got this particular IP address assigned so here I'm going to get rid from uh, this particular IP so I'm going to etc sysconfig network scripts and uh, let me show you the configuration file for Ethernet one okay so this is the current information it got IP address information so I'm going to get rid of this one so let me do vim so here I don't need uh, these three and I'm going to add uh, like this device will be for bridge virtual BR0. Looks good to me. Let me save this file. This is done. So now uh, let's create a file for virtual bridge 0. By default, uh, that should not be existing. Let's see if cfg dash or br0 you can see uh, there is no file so we have to create this file i'm manually creating this file i'm editing vim 
okay in this file the contents need to be this device type is going to be bridge which particular IP address to be assigned to this one what is going to be boot protocol I am not selecting THCP I am leaving it to none which will use static IP on boot need to be yes I have using IP addresses here saving this file so let me do cat quickly okay guys so IP configuration file for virtual bridge 0 is created next thing uh, we have to enable the IP forwarding for that you can simply equal net IPv4 forward is equal to 1 to a system configuration file you can choose any existing file or you can create a new one I'm creating new one so this is e code let's enable the settings for that system CTL minus P and read that file you can see it's enabled now is equal to one minutes enabled IPv4 IP forwarding is enabled let's quickly load the firewall rules for pass through I will be sharing uh, these commands with you in uh, description or uh, the documentation section so you can use those for your center I'm reloading the firewall rule everything good next thing let's check what is the current IP range here for virtual bridge 0 you can see for virtual bridge 0 as I mentioned it is using 122 and 122 which is default one which we don't want to use so now we have to update the configuration for virtual bridge 0 to use uh, the IP which we want to use which was uh, dot 10 at the end for that uh, we need to update uh, the virtual network configuration for that uh, first you can uh, run the command virtual net list it will tell you what all virtual networks you got as I mentioned we got only one default interface which is virtual bridge 0 and its state is active it is auto started uh, is yes and is persistent so let's check what is the configuration of uh, the default interface at present so you can uh, use wash net dash dump xml default you can see right now it is using default network 122 and what this information mean MAC address is the MAC address of interface IP address this IP address is the IP address which is allocated or assigned on virtual bridge 0 interface which is default one let me show you here if you see here virtual bridge 0 it got 122.1 which is defined here so this is a configuration which interface is taking and uh, it got DHCP range this DHCP range mean uh, any guest VM or guest KVM which is getting created if DHCP is enabled it will pick IP address from here till this particular range but you can uh, manually add or assign IP on guest VMs but for DHCP this is going to be range so we have to update uh, this configuration file to use our custom network how we can do that that's very easy so simply you can uh, use net edit utility of wash which will allow you to update the configuration so you can simply do wash net edit because this is default network as i mentioned here it is default so we are editing it default here i am going to say instead of 122.1 assign ip 1.10 and in DHCP range, assign DHCP range from 1. Dot, I'm saying assign after let's say 20. And uh, 254 is the end bit. I'm saving this file. I'm just going to read this file to make sure the contents are updated or not. You may be wondering, the file is edited, but when I check the file again it is showing uh, the old network where are the changes whether changes are made or not 
changes are made guys only thing net dump xml checks the active configuration of default interface and it displays that so right now the changes are made in configuration but they are not active let me show you i'm using net edit again you can see our changes are there to activate these changes you can simply restart live word d so when live word d restarts it checks your network configuration file which is uh, this xml file this contents and it loads into the active kernel or instead of restarting live word d i will recommend to reboot the system to make sure uh, after reboot your configuration Basically, the new custom configuration is persistent. So let's reboot this machine quickly. Okay, guys, so this machine is rebooted now. Let's quickly check the configuration now. First, check if config output for virtual bridge zero. You can see here it got our new IP address which we defined before reboot. So it means configuration is good let's check uh, dump xml of uh, default interface you can see it got our new configuration so guys everything looks good our network is configured in case in your setup you want to use different vlans or uh, different networks for uh, different type of vms you can create uh, virtual interfaces like we got default only you can create virtual bridge zero virtual bridge one one two three four for your application and database networks so that's totally fine only thing in your configuration file you have to update the interface address and dhcp range that's it in this session guys thank you